Okay, thank you. Um, we're down to the final couple weeks. Well, the, um, yes, the rail bill came back, the rail tax bill came back, and it's uh, Senate Bill 1183 this year. That measure um, is something that nobody in the building wanted to see come back. Well, it was only two years ago that the legislature voted for a five-year tax extension, and at that time we were told that the city only needed $910 million, yet the five-year allotment extension of the tax was going to generate something like $1.5 billion. So there should have been a plenty of cushion in that five years. The other big one, of course, is the rail bill uh, that uh, you may have seen is uh, the Senate version said, OK, the state will stop skimming 10 percent of the tax and give it back to the county. That would work out to a total of about $300 million, which is not as much as the mayor would like at this point. So um, I supported that version. I thought it was a pretty good one. Um, I think people in this building are very, very disappointed with the cost overruns, and they're having a hard time grappling with the, uh, you know, the impact and whether or not to support that tax. I'm opposed to uh, continuing the tax because uh, I, I just haven't seen the fiscal responsibility on the other side that uh, I think is warranted. The Representative Jarrett Keohokaloli. Sure. Aloha. I'm Jarrett Kilhokalole. I'm the state representative for District 48, which is Kaneohe, the, the Makai side of Kaneohe, basically, and Kahalu'u, all the way to Waiahole, to the Poi Factory. It costs a lot to live here. People's kids and, and families are moving away because of the cost of living, because of the lack of housing. Um, we have a homeless problem. We have drug issues. And then just a general concern that I think, you know, it's, it's getting crowded here and that's having a big effect on our overall environment and just our lifestyle. Do you have anything to say to the next generation, uh, to those that are considering becoming farmers? Please do it. <laughs> Please do it. Yeah, don't. We've got to go all over the state and talk to a lot of people and visit a lot of places and everywhere you go you have the same sort of issue the the old families who have been farming for a long time are you know everybody's getting older and the kids aren't necessarily as interested in in doing farming and so you know that's a difficult conversation to have but you know it's really important for our state it's important for our communities not just for food security but just for you know keeping our our island lifestyle the way it is. Hello everyone, uh, Sean Quinlan, State Representative for uh, House District 47, which is uh, North Shore, Kolaloa. So I've got a little bit of Wailua, uh, all of Haleiwa up to Turtle Bay, and then from Turtle Bay I go down through Kahuku, Laie, uh, Punalu'u, Kaava, Haula of course, um, Waihole and Waikane, and it ends at the uh, Poi Factory basically. So Wailua to Waihole essentially. It's very diverse. Every single community, I mean, Haula is very different from Punlu, which is very different from Waihole. Um, each community has its own sort of set of, of issues, and I think the, the rural nature of our district kind of separates the, the towns or the communities enough so that they are very, very distinct as far as, you know, their personality and even down to the, the demographics of who lives there. So, um, I would say number one for the North Shore and Windward side would have to be traffic and transportation. Um, either it's people are upset because they're sitting in traffic or they're upset because you know, the road is falling into the ocean and they're sitting in traffic. Um, so that's the that's the major issue and I think you know it's going to continue to be the major issue for the next you know for the foreseeable future until we at the state level can get a better handle on what can we actually do to protect that one road, our, our lifeline for the whole district, the entire community. And that's my report. Thank you. Questions for the senator from the board members? 